What's good, y'all? Dre Ski back with another video, bruh. Look, what we're getting into today is we're going over difficult shots and we're going to go in depth with it because uh, 2K Labs released a little um, video about difficult shots. And what they said was it increases. And it, this is not my badge layout, y'all. Just to let y'all know, this is not my badge layout. Uh, what I'm doing is. I'm putting badges on that don't really necessarily help with your shot so that you could so you can see the full effects of just difficult shots by itself not combined with hot zone hunter uh freaking green machine corner spread none of that none of that is being combined with it it's just difficult shots itself and of course quick draw for my jump shot speed but um basically difficult shot says it improves the ability to shoot difficult shots off the dribble and when you go into it it says high difficulty jumpers such as hop steps spins step backs and pull-ups receive a shot percentage boost and that shot percentage boost is there it's a very small shot percentage boost and you get that very small shot percentage boost when you do when you have a uh, bronze um what is it bronze difficult shots you get the same shot percentage boost so it's the same it's the same all around uh I'm just shooting like regular jumpers and stuff, but uh, let's get into it. And uh, I'm just want to show you all this because 2K Lab said that uh, what it does is it increases every point by one each level that you have it. So difficult, you see, I got an 86 mid range, 86 three. So with difficult shots Hall of Fame, that'll give me plus four, and plus four give me the 90 moving shot mid range and 90 moving shot three. Uh, which to me is not really worth it because last year and this year you can still hit off the dribble shots without having like a 99 in those categories you don't need that so for me what I personally rock is uh, difficult shots on bronze because I want that little small shot percentage boost that they do give you because um, I swear to God it does not increase the higher that you have it uh, only thing it increases is your actual rating and the rating shouldn't matter as long as like you see this is difficult shots hall of fame and uh some of the shots that you miss with hall of fame you should be hitting these like consistently like super consistent like i'm greening some of them and th this dribble pull up bro this dribble pull up is cash but uh i'm dream i'm greening so yeah i was dreaming most of them i'm greening most of them bro so like how it goes is it's pretty nice and stuff it's pretty decent um Difficult Shots Hall of Fame, that is, not the dribble pull-up. Dribble pull-up is fire. But uh, what I would recommend running is, personally, Difficult Shots on Bronze, because that gives you the little small shot percentage boost and then give you a little plus one that you really don't necessarily care about, but it's there. Uh, you get a... Um, I would put Corner Specialist up. Uh, I think that Corner Specialist on Silver is good enough. But uh, if you want to, you can go all out and have it higher. Uh, what I usually like to do is I like to have my um, catch and shoot higher too. Because catch and shoot is, that badge is crazy this year. Like, you need that this year. Like, if you ain't got catch and shoot, I swear to God, you don't hit catch and shoots no more. I think they nerfed the ability to hit shots without having catch and shoot. Because you remember at the beginning of the year, we were able to hit catch and shoot shots without having catch and shoot on now it's the complete opposite if you don't got catch and shoot on it's harder to hit uh catch and shoot shots unless you know your jumper like 100 percent like knock down every single time man but um yeah how difficult shots hall of fame is i feel like it should be better um doing some spin jumpers and stuff it seemed like the main thing that it helps with <clears throat> it helps with is spin jumpers uh because spin jumpers are harder to hit on here uh, dribble pull-ups, they nerfed them badly after the beginning of the after the beginning of the game. Like when it first launched, uh, we had people like uh, certain YouTubers. Like I'm not gonna go into detail with it, but certain YouTubers were complaining about it. You know, every time a YouTuber complained, they basically nerf it. So, um, and then we turn around and we have like nobody complains about how this like the dribble moves and stuff are that stupid ass behind the back thing but whatever uh quick first step should get nerfed a little bit but I'm, I'm not i'm not going into this man look so basically what i did was i took difficult shots off completely i don't have nothing to help me hit no shots 
we just we just going based off of just pure my skill as a player in general. So uh, with no difficult shots at all, as you see, that it's a little harder to hit these shots, but uh, they will still drop at a pretty decent rate. Uh, I'm sitting in front of the thing so that you can't see. Let me go ahead and move myself over here. Uh, I'm gonna put myself in the middle of the screen. Is that a good spot? Not really. It's like no no spot was no spot is really good for me to just put myself. But um, you see, I'm I'm still hitting a decent amount. Uh, I'm not having any issues or anything with having no difficult shots on. So you can still hit shots without difficult shots on. Uh, you don't need it on to be able to hit phase, but that little small percentage boost, I would definitely have it on bronze because that little percentage boost to me makes a big difference. Uh, but you see, I'm still green in these phase. It doesn't matter if you have difficult shots or not, you can still hit fade and shots, fade in mid ranges and stuff. Uh, then again, also to clarify things, Fading threes are not really a thing on this game. Not as much as they used to be. Uh, so don't expect to be able to hit fading threes. I mean, like, you may knock some down every once in a while, but don't expect to just sit here and shoot fading threes all the time. You see, the mid range is just cash. Like, you could just hit mid ranges all day, but the threes, they're definitely not not it is nowhere near how they were before you will be able to hit the step back uh corner threes and i i do that quite a bit actually i like to do the step back corner threes you will be able to hit those shots with uh difficult shots bronze in my corner specialist layout how i had it you will definitely be able to hit those shots so let's go to my layout i had corner specialist uh we had high zone hunter we definitely put high zone hunter on hall of fame uh, and then basically what I ended up doing, yeah, I always got rangefinder all the way up, but I did corner specialist on hall of fame and, uh, you need green machine is almost a crutch badge. I think we might lower the, uh, corner specialist and put green machine on silver, but green machine is pretty much a crutch badge. Like that's something that you got to have. Uh, basically when you green a fade or the reason why I like it so much because I'll green a fade and then I'll green another fade and then once I green those two fades bruh it's just greens the whole time like you could just keep fading for mid and you'll just keep greening and I, I really like oh and go through corner specialists it said deep mid range or three point shots taken along the baseline of the court receive a boost whether it's off the dribble or a catch and that's key because it says off the dribble, so it helps a lot with those off the dribble fading uh, deep mid ranges in the corner. And I love to do those shots. Usually, when you get open as a shot creator, because I've always been a shot creator, and um, I've been a shot creator since like like 2K. I always made shot creators. I love to be able to fade, and that's just I. Ever since like I started really playing 2K super hard, like 2K13 was when I started playing like a lot. I always made a player that could fade. I like to be able to fade, but um, I might I might make a shot creator, y'all, bro. I might make a shot creator. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I might have to do it, but um, yeah. So how this build is, um, or how this badge layout is. This badge layout allows you to be able to fade in the mid range, uh, but the only issue that you would kind of have is at the center of the court. But if you still know your timing, you can still green that. You see that I just greened it, so you shouldn't have an issue with that. And you see that's my second green. So once you get those two greens in a row, you'll pretty much be able to do every anything uh, in the mid range. I wouldn't say you can't just go out on a three and start doing that, but. Uh, anything in the mid range should be cashed. You shouldn't have no issues at all with being able to do stuff like that. Uh, fading in the mid is just is is money this year. I definitely were. I like this type of play style because you it it's more consistent 
then uh, say, well, catch and shoot corner three is probably more consistent than that. But you see, I still hit a fade in um, corner three, and you can do them sometimes, but it's not something that you can do all the time. And you see, I'm eight for 10 with, uh, or nine for 11 with difficult shots, bronze, and corner specialists up. So, in green machine. So, this to me is a better combination. Uh, and that was a late release, but uh, we'll get into that. That's actually cross key score that act that should activate at that point in time, and we missed that. But um, yeah, cross key score that's another badge that I think shot creators should have, but I don't have it because I, I'm really good at timing those close fades anyway. But cross key score on bronze it makes a world of a difference. Like when I had it on bronze for a while, and when you fade or when you run across the paint say like you run across like near the free throw line at area and you fade from there it gives you a high percentage to hit that shot and it's so it, it's one of those underrated badges i believe is really underrated because in that situation a lot of the times people miss time it but like sometimes a lot of the times miss time jumpers like that still go in and it makes no sense to me 2k need to fix that because I've seen people get very late and keep getting in the drop. Oh, we didn't even have difficult shots on that on that one. So let's go ahead and try difficult shots with Green Machine Go and Corner Specialist Hall of Fame. So that last one was with no difficult shots at all. So you that was just proving that you don't need it at all. You could really just deal with corner specialists and be cool. But um, you see, we get that to go and um like difficult shots this year is not a crutch badge it used to be one of those badges that you felt like you had to have man like you felt like you had to have it but this year nah it ain't worth it is not worth it this year so i hope y'all can see how my player is I, i'm shooting stupid shots but once I start hitting these mid ranges and everything, you'll be able to see the difficult shots on bronze. I feel like it helps more for if you like that little percentage helps more for if you were to have like a slightly late or a slightly early. You don't have to be as critical to green like when you don't have it when you don't have difficult no when you don't have difficult shots it's like you have to green way more like in this situation here i don't have to green as much i got the full whites dropping and stuff because i have difficult shots on when you don't have difficult shots on those full whites do not drop it it's hard to get those to drop and i'm just really making this video to help out people who our shot creators and who are also trying to figure out like what badges to be able to put on so that they can shot create and be as efficient as possible of course you need space creator on put that on go um, of course you need like uh, ankle breaker you got to put that up man because when you hit that space creating ankle that space creating step back you could break ankles. You don't even need you don't need uh, the playmaking takeover, none of that stuff. Once you hit that that step back, dude, is it's game over. Like, and if you got the shot create and takeover, it's a wrap. On this player, I got the sharp shoot and takeover, and I do a lot of fade and threes with him. Uh, once I get my sharp takeover, is is pretty much over at that point. Like I'm, I just hit every fade. And, isn't I get a 99? I got a 99. Uh, three once i get my shot created and take over so i just i just go off i just do whatever the hell i want to do at that point and this is why i really love this build this build is like it's really it, it's it's an op build man it, it's really nice this score machine is is killer but um yeah y'all um but other than that bro i hope y'all really look at this and think about it as more of me just talking to y'all trying to get y'all to to see what i'm seeing like see basically going in depth a little bit because the 2k lab videos are real cool and stuff but when they talk about it it's just quick straight to the point and um 
sometimes people need it to be more in depth. They need to be they need it to be explained a little better, coming from another source. And from what I've seen from the 2K Lab group, they do a really good job. I subscribe to them uh, for that $7.99 a month for the premium, and I definitely it's worth the $7.99 because I go on it. I literally just look at like the hot zones all the stuff that's like available to print well hot zones are available for everybody but the jump shots everything that's available to premium members it helped me stay up to date with the jump shots that i have like be able to see exactly what bases got changed in the update what what's the difference between the bases uh what's the make percentage the green percentage which jumpers have a bigger window stuff like that it is really it goes in depth man i love stuff to go in depth because it lets me figure out exactly what i want to do but once again you guys i hope y'all enjoy comment rate subscribe we're gonna have more videos coming out for y'all i'm sure fading threes now but we're gonna have videos coming out for y'all man i got more stuff in depth man i hope y'all enjoy love y'all peace out <laughs>